globally is deliberately used to hold Africa down. Now, in February, about two weeks ago, an African Sustainable Development Conference was held in Zimbabwe's Victoria Falls. And um, from that conference came the fact that Zimbabwe has been asking for a loan from the IMF, the World Bank, African Development Bank, and Zimbabwe was turned down for the loan because According to three of them, Zimbabwe was owing seven billion US dollars already. So they couldn't loan Zimbabwe anymore. Let's remember that this country has been isolated economically, sanctioned economically for years, leading to severe food insecurity and poverty in the country. Now, Zimbabwe was turned down because it had seven billion US dollars in loan. I don't get it. The United States owes 21 trillion US dollars in loan, but gets more. So why would the United States of America, Japan, United Kingdom, Sweden, these are all the countries that are the top debtors. Why are they able to loan and own more, but Zimbabwe cannot? Now, this is how the whole debt concept is used against Africa. Every country in the world, including the United States, Japan, Sweden, name it Germany, need to borrow to develop their infrastructure. And infrastructure is what is used to determine if a country is developed or not. So if Africa cannot borrow, does not have access to the same loans that the United States, Japan, the others have to develop their infrastructure, then we continue to be called underdeveloped. Believe me, Africa is where it is today, not because it is not as developed, it doesn't have as much resources. The rules of the game have been stacked against this continent. And it's about time we stop playing along and according to rules that are not working for us. The debt concept is stacked against Africa, it's unjust, it's, un it's, it's not well applied, and it's applied against Africa. I'll finish with this. When India got its independence, Mahatma Gandhi, who fought for the independence of India, said this. He was, he was being interviewed by a British journalist who was being sarcastic and said, now India has its independence. Are you going to be as rich as Britain? And Mahatma Gandhi said, it took half of the world's resources for the United Kingdom, for Britain to be as rich as it is right now. For India with its population to be like the UK, it's going to actually require the whole wealth of the world. Right now, my dear, that same principle is still being applied. The debt concept of debt application, access to global funds is still being stacked against Africa, and that is why we are we are we where we are. I think it's about time Africa starts redefining what it means to be developed. Because the Western model. It's not working for us. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening as always. And please join the movement. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.